So, there's no doubt in my mind. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Easy's Rebuilds. I'm Easy E. If you can see on the side of me, we still working on the Honda Civic that was donated to this channel. So in this video, I got to change the oil, paint, gas, and unfortunately, uh, it's cold outside, so I won't be able to really clean, power wash the oil pan since it's mighty dirty up under there. And we got to get the catalytic converter put back on this car and get the front exhaust pipe put we will get that lined up so we know where to go with the aftermarket exhaust. But I've been doing some work on this car off camera because I'm not a professional mechanic. And I don't have all the proper tools to do the jobs properly until I find out what tools I need. And I will order them. I'll let y'all know what I'm talking about. Let's go check it out. So here's what I'm talking about. Since I have OCD when it comes to these cars, I went to change this hub just because it has one broken stud and I didn't like that. See, still a piece of bearing stuck on, bearing stuck on it. Here's the old bearing. The outer tie rod. Without that, we got the new one on there. Yeah, I can see all behind there. I don't know if you can see. It's all buttoned back up. Tires dry rotted. Right? But like I said, I didn't have the proper tools to do that job. I didn't know what I, that. I didn't know what was needed to do that job. I thought I could do it just with the pop the tools I had. But no, I had to order this bearing removal adapter pulley. From Amazon, so I know now you're gonna need this kit to actually get all that back, that apart and pressed all back together. So that's why I love doing what I'm doing. This is a hobby. When I'm done with these cars, they can go to a new home. But I got to continue on. Oh, and you're going to need some snap ring pliers. Because I didn't have big enough snap ring pliers. So I ended up taking the stuff to work and using my job to maintenance department. Snap ring pliers. When I got a snap ring pliers set that I can use. Also from Amazon. The snap ring pliers I got is from Harbor Freight. And they was not doing the job and getting that snap ring off because it's so big. So I just couldn't get it. Using these little Harbor Freight ones. These good for little snap rings, but not no big ones. I just couldn't get it. So, let's jump up into this car and get to removing this oil pan. So, we're up under the car. Sealed up with jack stands. It's like a fairly easy oil pan to get to. The bolts up there are 10 millimeter. This, this bolt right here, you can see that, it's a 12 millimeter. And this one is a 14 millimeter. So what I can see is you must remove this bracket so you can access the bolts that's going around that side. Already drained it of oil. Already got a new oil filter on there. I do plan ahead. Have try to have what I need for the job, but just not the right tools. That's all. I might have all the parts, but that's not the right tools. Because now we're up under the car. Yeah, I can see over there. Another tie new tie rod right in. And we cleaned up all that, so it's all good to go. 
This side still got the old tie rod in. I don't know if I'm going to replace this one yet or not. But it'll go with the car when the car gets sold. All the spare part, extra parts will go with the car. Because actually I ordered two of the hub, hubs, not the hub bearing, two of the hubs. But let's get back on this. Like I said, you already see, you already know what y'all need. So um, let me jump on into this. There's no doubt in my mind that it had a very large oil pan leak. If y'all can see that, the whole oil pan gasket is wet. The gasket should be wet all the way across, so it's just seeping out through the oil pan. You look at the top of the motor, well, not the top, but underneath the motor, you can see where the gasket was at. It's all covered in oil. It's been leaking for some time now. But we ain't going to have to worry about that anymore. Because we're replacing the gasket. That's the only leak I've seen in the previous video. We changed the valve cover gasket. Now we're changing the oil pan gasket. And there should be no more oil leaks. Coming from this motor. Y'all know how we do it. If y'all haven't already, if y'all new to this channel, go to check out our other videos. We don't like no cars leaking oil in our driveway. So, let me get this old gasket off and get this put back together so we can jump and get the Cadillac converter put back on. See, I struggled in that. So I implore you all to get your oil pan gaskets replaced if they're accessible. So this is a 1998 Honda Civic, as y'all know from the description area or the thumbnail or the title of this video. So it came off in pieces. And I hate having to get these off. I think they've been on the car for over 20 years. The original equipment. It was all original. That was the original gasket. So it's mighty hard to get off. And I know why they never changed this one. Because the exhaust goes up under. It goes. Well, the exhaust is in the way. Once you get the exhaust on, it's in the way of getting the oil pan off. You got to drop the exhaust to get the oil pan off. But I got the oil pan as clean as possible. Now it's time to get her on back up there.
I'll make it do what it do, baby. But I still got the oil pan back on. I just can't forget to fill it top off with oil. Now it's time to put the catalytic converter on. And that job's kind of easy. All you need, all it is, is a 12 millimeter socket. And we still got to put the, the new oxygen sensors in. But let's get this catalytic converter dropped on in there that we picked up off of Amazon for the low, low price of 130 bucks. Because you've seen from the last video, the other catalytic converter, the manifold had a big crack going around it. That's why I went past emissions. But you know what we do. We uh, fix everything that's broken with her. Because I have OCD. I gotta stop fixing everything that's broke. This cost me too much money. But let's jump on into it. Get this catalytic converter dropped in. Get it all bolted down, bolted down and torqued. So let's get to it. We got the intake, well, the exhaust manifold we'll put back on. Like I said, the last one was cracked. We got it torqued down to easy e specs. And we got the lower oxygen sensor on. Now it's time to put the, the top oxygen sensor on. All parts are from Amazon. Hopefully all this stuff works. Like I said, it went past emissions because the exhaust manifold was cracked. It was giving a it was giving a giving a engine light for O2 sensor. Now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get this tightened down because you got holes in the way. But I got a couple oxygen sensor. Adapters, gotta find out which one would be best for me. See, like that's gonna work best for me. I'll show y'all which one I'm using in a minute. Oh, watch my knuckles. Nice and tight, and this is the one I'm using right here a 7 8 22 millimeter. Maybe I can see that. This is what I'm using. I got other ones. Make sure you got one of these, make your job a lot easier without busting your knuckles. Now, I remember why I never finished school for automotive, I didn't like busting my knuckles. <clears throat> Psych. Bust your knuckles with any, any job you do. Hmm. Y'all, you leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know if you bust your knuckles. <sighs> That's your job. Well, obviously, if you're working at a computer desk, you ain't gonna really bust your knuckles. And we got the top one on. Let me plug it up. Plug her up. 
it to me through the camera. Like, aren't you forgetting something easy, E? Yes, I was. Put the heat shield back on. Put the new heat shield. Put the other heat shield. Yeah, it's a little bit rusty. I forgot what size. Those should be like 12s, too. Nope. Oh, that's a 14. take y'all back under the car and show y'all what I'm talking about about the exhaust the front exhaust covering the oil pan that's why it was never done that's why we did it now <laughs> was missing the exhaust system so since we're we have to replace it anyway But I don't think it's that much covering it. But maybe that's more than enough for people not to do it because you can't pull it all the way down. I don't know. I will have to try to take the exhaust back off again, take the oil pan back off again and see if I can get it down low enough to clear everything out. I, I doubt it. That's why it was never done. Because you have to unbolt the exhaust. This is this car that has no exhaust. We might as well change the pan. Now I got to figure out how to connect the rest of the exhaust. As y'all can see, way back there, I have a new stainless steel exhaust system coming to the front exhaust. Now it's got to connect the two. Got a two, a two, a two bolt clamps right there. Got three bolt clamps back there. And another exhaust holder back there. You see the exhaust is pushed to one side of the car. So I get get it back to level. But don't let none of this stuff is straight. Like it's, that's where it's supposed to be. Probably got to get a piece of flex pipe and go from there. So, now you see the undercarriage of the car with the exhaust on it. So I guess that's going to be a wrap for this video. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Let us know how we're doing on donation. Save it. She needs a lot of work. We're going to get her done. Now I know what we're going to do. video if you would on your social media with your friends family and co-workers help me boost this channel up by sharing and if you haven't already please consider subscribing to easy ease rebuilds hit that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I release a new video I'm not done yet people we take car donations just like the one you see in this video, we take Cash App donations and we have merch at teespring.com. Not like this one, but other merch at teespring.com. It's all links in the description area down below. 
Go check us out on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. It's all links in the description area below. Go check out the description area below for everything I just said. And with all that, stay tuned and stay blessed, people. Deuces! Oh.